How about the Mega Millions winner? Oh, yeah. Oh, from, dude. From, one. from it, Illinois. Mil, Illinois. One person. $1.337 billion. Oh, man. Cash out. Seven hundred and eighty point five million dollars. That's crazy, man. That is the cash out of cash outs. Bring it. You I, could say I won X amount, but you know what? So what? I got seven hundred and eighty point five million of it. cash. For real. Did he go into hiding? He better. This is where he won it. Cause everybody gonna come ask him for something. Illinois ain't no place. Hey man, um, I got this business adventure. I mean, this business ve- venture. And <laughs> Dude. Even that point three. Though, I'm that's... an entrepreneur. I mean, entrepreneur, <laughs> and <laughs> we could make even more millions than you already have. Like, so I that... mean, you got a billion. I'm sorry. I mean, if that person spends all that money. And there's nothing left. They're 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 a fool. I mean, because you could you could you could give away. You could spend so much money, and as long as you keep a few of the million in the house, like just like, that, you're, if like you're, you're good. If you're smart, it should last a few generations. Yeah. Like yeah. through your a lot, like, whole your, lot. Yeah. Yes, like probably ten. Every everyone that knows. And if they're yeah. smart, they keep it rolling for the rest. But none of them do that. <sighs> they all do. Well, yeah. I mean, they all they all spend it all. Someone always ends up, but, no, but effing <laughs> it off. <laughs> Hey, with that kind of money, would you be like a doomsday prepper? Who, me? Yeah, like, would you build the like? Nah, I'd, I'd, yeah. be a, I'd be on permanent vacation. <laughs> I mean, would you like... Well, yeah, but I get, I get what C-minus is saying. is like, you well, know, like, if, if you had the dough, would you make a prep spot? Oh, for sure. Well, I'd I would. buy one. Yeah, yeah. for sure, right? Like, All day I would, yes, dude, for sure. if you have 700 I would have an underground lair well, you, somewhere. You, you, you'd probably get about, uh, with, I think you get about $400 million after taxes off the cash out. That's what they probably take, about $300 million, I'm but, building a bunker. But you, you'd be fine. $400 oh, yeah. million, like... No, I think this is after the tax. Taxes, no, no, that's after the because the cash out they they slash you when you right. get cash. Okay, and then so you get, yeah, like, I mean you, even you if tax. you're getting you get, three to three and four about four hundred million probably. Yeah, I think that's it. still oh you're dancing you're dancing on the ceiling. Like, like I mean even you spent even even you spent six million a year, you would still have tons of money. You'd be you, a you, mega you, dumbass to do that. But even if you did, <laughs> you still have enough money. To, but even your, if you all, did, all, all your kids would be good. Yeah, for a long. I mean even if you're even you're like in your thirties because I mean you know. Because you're gonna make so much money on that money, like just sitting well, there in well, random spot that see, it's like you can't spend. It's hard to spend it. See what you do is you do like you know the Waldorf and Gettys, right? You take a significant portion of that and put it towards philanthropy and yes, that, and then you know accounts where it earns interest on the money, and then you make stipulations that they cannot spend it. They got an allowance. Yep. If they want to have, they can have that allowance. And if they want to have their own gigs and create their own businesses, cool, but they cannot spend this frivolously. Like you won't see these guys spend Waldorf or Getty money on like expensive things like this, Mm -hmm. unless they got a job themselves that can actually pay for that. Man. But they're take, but they, you know, for the rest of their lives, that particular circle of family is good and if you do it right you could set it up like that <laughs> but, or, but no one ever but does. no one <laughs> yeah not lottery winners no. well well i mean you know most people they haven't not one not most yet. people aren't that smart i mean not most people but a lot, well, lot, yeah. lot of people don't know how to handle that type of money yes no. they get it that most is, people don't they never true. had it you we know why because forever when they didn't have nothing no one came to them for nothing and once they're like they got all this money. Well, Everybody is coming at them. And schools, <laughs> school and society. That's why a lot of them like actually like they 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 fuck off the money. On, <laughs> yeah. They fuck off the money on purpose. Yep. So that people will stop coming at them for shit, and they go back to their regular ass life. But you know, if if some of them are smart, they fucking buy cribs that they could sustain. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as long as you, I mean, long as you have a house and you had a couple million left over in a bank account, I think there was you, a, you'd be pretty wasn't good. There like a documentary on that. Oh yeah, there was a dude like the the it, one that went to all the strip club. There was like a dude that went to all the strip clubs and spent tons of money at strip clubs. Had all the he yeah, walked away from he walked, like suitcases full yes. of cash. Yes, yeah, so um, lo- and just that, go to gambling places and he 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 couldn't spend the money he thought fast enough because it just kept on having more and more and then yeah. eventually at some point it ended and then he was just destroyed. <laughs> 
Yeah, he probably thought he won the billions, and he won like a oh, couple yeah. million. It was a couple. Yeah. It was. It was like I think like twenty million or something. Like that. Even you then, know, that's yeah, a lot. Even then, you lot. you got to be really doing dumb, dumb, dumb shit, like going to Vegas every weekend and losing a hundreds million or something, thousands. hundreds of yeah. thousands of dollars, stupid shit like that. You know, uh, and there are people that do that. Oh yeah, for, real. for sure. Oh man, I should have slowed down. Man, I had it all. Yeah, you did. But you know, hey, like again, when you never had anything, and all all of a sudden you got all this, it's it's hard to know like <laughs> how to sustain. Absolutely. I mean, I've heard. I mean, I'm sure we've all read stories of people that have gone crazy from winning the lottery. Yeah. Or there's a curse. Some people say winning the lottery this big, or any huge amount of money, it's a curse with it that that comes with it. Right. And so, uh, I mean, look. I mean, just. Google lottery winners. Yeah, where they're at now. We you know, like, <laughs> and it's a trip. It's, you know, mental health issues after that. Cause, yeah. like, again, you know, you go from having nothing to having everything, and then people coming at you for everything, you know? And it's, it's just a whole change of, of what it is. And some folks know how to handle it. Yeah. Some folks know how to handle it, but it's a small percentage. Yeah. Well, I think we talked about it but, the other day. But either way, congratulations to this motherfucker right <laughs> here. Seven hundred point five million dollars. You're a billionaire. Yeah, I pretty mean, much. I, I mean, he was a billionaire. I mean, technically, he's he, close. Well, no, he won a billion. Yeah. But if he's going to take the cash, he's not getting a billion. But yeah. he did win a billion. What do you get? What do you get over the twenty-five year installment per year? What's what funny is he might be on the Forbes, like uh, <gasps> the Forbes list or something like that. Overnight, after, overnight after, yeah, after he wins the lottery. Overnight, all, all these other guys do all these businesses for years, and then some dude wins a lottery and he's on the what list. The I mean, how much <laughs> is it? Crazy. How much is it? And I heard what what you're talking about, where you're talking about the twenty five thousand they get, like, well, the twenty five year thing yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But I heard that, like, if if you decide to go with that and you pass away and you and die, you die and, yeah. and yeah, they they don't give nothing to nobody else. Yep. Yeah. So that's why some people mostly just get the cash. That's why a homie was bank. smart enough to go get this seven hundred and eighty million. Yeah, the cash is the way to go. Yeah, um, man. Give me that. Give yeah, me that give me that. Give I don't that, want dude. you telling me. <laughs> yeah, for real. Here's no, mine for the month. No, no. payment No payment plan. I'm about to go off grid and... Yeah, be, I don't need you outro. giving me a, a, an allowance of my yeah. own money. Nah. You're better no, off so doing on. that after you win, after you get the cash and True you get that. your financial advisor and all that stuff. Absolutely. But I'll tell you, the one that... The one lottery... Rent, uh, winner I remember the most is the dude that claimed it with the scream mask. Yes, where he just wanted to keep his I uh, identity. You know, that's yeah. the first I've heard that's of. That's the a, best way. That's a, the way I would do it. Uh, I'd be like, blurt my face, or I'm coming in with a mask on. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> you ain't gonna know. Yeah, you could go in now with you know all the COVID restrictions. And paint my <laughs> name is John Doe. <laughs> Hella masks. Yeah, because there it is. like there you go. Nice. because your life will completely change, <laughs> man. Well, he won a lot, 158 yeah. million. Oh wow, well, that was good. he made it. He made it oh, so that, that that was a good that was a good win. Yeah, so he he made it so that like you know, like no one knows what he looks like, so yeah. they can't come <laughs> at him. His family's gonna come at him, but like family and friends will come at him, but like strangers just out of nowhere trying to come take some of that money from you he, oh. he, he this guy ain't dealing with that because he did the smart thing he hit yep. his face and what do you think because I, I know there was a lot of controversy on this but you, you see people like dj khaled and like people that are already like doing playing the lottery yeah and they buy like stacks and stacks of all these lottery well, i'm glad tickets. he spent all that money and didn't win yeah that <laughs> that's <laughs> not fair exactly Dude, shouldn't be taking chances for folks like that man come on that's I'm, excessive here's the thing i think maybe for a million if you spend a million dollars on lottery tickets yeah. on quick picks and all that you're gonna win something you ain't gonna win a big prize no. but you're gonna win but, something and I mean, not only that like because i've seen like ken splurge like the amount of ticket like say for example dj khaled when he splurged all the when he has all the tickets literally hundreds of tickets and it's like yo you probably got to pay somebody to keep track of each one of those tickets yep. while they're drawing the 
the thing because ain't nobody, ain't no way he's going to look at all those tickets and be like, oh, shit, I won. Yep. It's like you got to pay somebody just to even keep yep. up with all those tickets. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> why? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Do why are you going to do that? I mean, I know you want to win, and, I know, like, a lot of people want a billion dollars, but, like, uh-huh. Is that a you're, th- you're good. You make a lot of money. Why would you? Nine million? Be, why would you be trying to take? You no know, folks gra- that ain't got that. It's for the gram. All for the gram. There's only about <laughs> nine gotta, states gotta where they have protections on hiding your identity if you win a lottery. Damn. That, that's going to be South Dakota, Ohio, North Dakota, Minnesota, Kansas, Illinois, and also Delaware, Maryland, Texas, and South Carolina. Why not California? Damn, for real. What the fuck? With all this crazy shit happening here, why not California? Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, you would get targeted here. Mm-hmm. Big time. Especially with the way they're letting motherfuckers get off these days, man. You would be a fucking prime target. Why not see? <laughs> they should change the fucking rule here. Yeah. You'd have that to way, lot for any lottery winner here in California, they would be protected. Because immediately, the minute these little grimy sons of bitches know who <laughs> won that money, they're, they're coming man. after it. Better oh, go out of state with that shit. No, uh, to move out of state immediately. Yeah. Country. You win that shit here, move out of state immediately. Ah, Go somewhere else. These motherfuckers over here will come try to jack you for it. Or some of it. Man, I'm out. (laughs) You're out. Out of the country. I'm out. I'm I'm off to Switzerland. I'm off. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, it says winners in California are subject to public records. Uh, See, fuck that. Why even play? Nah, man. And it says the state of California does not permit lottery winners to hide their identities. California winners are compelled by law to reveal their names and location. See, that's what bullshit. Location? What, what the fuck? See, that's bullshit. It even says here, this places them at higher risk. So, yeah, so states. you want you want us to play this lottery to win this money to tax us Holy for half of it. Shit. Right? Yeah. Because it's it's they, they can't touch this money until somebody wins it. And then they allow people to know you won it and know your address. Man. Well, that way, if you don't claim it all, if you get off or something, maybe they just, that way they get all the extra money. No, no you can't. Once you die, but the, you know I'm saying? The, the like, water keeps it then. Like, why why even risk it's it? It's all reason. <laughs> you know there's I mean? no reason to risk that shit. I, I hope what they by what they mean by location is what city they're from. No, <laughs> it's, it's where you won. Oh, oh yeah. It's where you won, like. Um, where you bought it. Yeah, where you bought right. the the ticket from. That's, That's what cool. they mean by location. Man. But the fact that yeah. you got to show you, like it's a it's public records. You can't do like homeboy did and be like all right, I'm cool with showing my name and all that, but or partially my name cuz it was A something, right? Yeah, A Campbell. A Campbell. A Campbell. And you couldn't see his face. Like if you know, California should allow something like that, man. It's, Shouldn't, it shouldn't be. I don't think they said identity, though. They say, like, from what a cultist said, I think it said location and name. So you probably will be able to wear a mask. But I'm not too popular. Yeah, I don't know. I got to check the rules. Because I tell you, in California, it's a little tougher to win that. Hell yeah. I mean, it could be. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lottery. I mean. Mm. Congratulations to that. He, yeah, congratulations to him. His life, well done. life, about to change in a major way. Yeah, a lot of times when I have that big, a couple of people win, so they have to split it. You know? Yeah, nah, he but won. That guy, all, man. That, that's a that's a prize. Yeah, he got it. He got it all <laughs> to his fucking head, boy. That's I would, crazy. 